What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Jad here from Poogle Plow Plains. More Firewing Simulator 22. We're back in Alma, Missouri. Let's get to it. Trent, what's up? All right, so Trent, you ready for this? We're going to restart uh, Fairweather? No. <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it was bad, but it wasn't that bad. Um, you know how the, the issue in that game where the, the brakes bleed? If you like leave something parked. You know what I'm talking nope. about? Huh? Nope. You've not had that issue? Nope. If you park something and it's not on flat ground, the, the brakes will bleed. And then when you go back in, if you don't like tab to that train right away, like it'll just be free rolling. Uh, that's, like if I have multiple set of cars, I'll I'll sell put like a handbrake on at least one. Well, I guess you're just a better train driver than I am. Um, I had the double Brookshires sitting out at Nantahala. You know, they're just helper engines. They climb hills, right? So they're just sitting there, just the cars or just the engines, right? Um, they ended up like multiple towns away, both derailed and both at like 20% condition. Because the stupid brakes bleed on that game. And, uh, so to say I was frustrated with it might be an understatement. <laughs> well, I gotta get plowing going. That's what I gotta do. Okay. I should have done this yesterday, but, or not yesterday, Sunday night, but oh well. All right. Now I know what I would like. Gotta get going first. But yeah, so that, that happened. And, uh. Ah, I was a little frustrated when I found that. But I got, like, the rest of the stuff done for the interchange, or for, like, the day, outside of running, like, the, uh, you know, running trains back to, uh, to the interchange. Yeah, right, Sean? You're not wrong, Sean. Kimmy underscore O's just resubscribed for 23 months. Kimmy, welcome back for 23 months. Do appreciate the resub. How's it going? How are the storms? Actually, I don't think you have any storms yet. But, you know, later today, possibly, huh, Kimmy? I think for you. What the? What the? What? But there's an Alice Chalmer um, doing a wheelie. Oh, uh, that'd be damn. You know, when he said the other day that he left a surprise in here, I was expecting, like, all of the equipment to be on top of the shed. You know? That's that's truly what I was expecting from him. But, you know, in a, in a fun way, it's fine. Mm -hmm. They're on the way, yeah. Yep. Yep. I know the... So it really gets going later. Not so much right now, so. Yeah, so Kimmy, I was just selling Trent. I played Sunday night and um, had brakes bleed down on two engines that were parked. And uh, uh, needless to say, I'm annoyed with the game and I kind of don't want to play it anymore. I'll be completely real with y'all. I don't want to play it. So. Brakes bled down, fire and mayhem happened. This is not, something is not right here. The auto width does not work. Uh, it's like 5.2 meters, not whatever it said that was. All right. That looks better. Dude. I can't be like that. Watch me. <laughs> uh, can't be. It's okay. So here's the thing: two at two Berkshires ended up multiple towns away from where they were supposed to be. Um, both derailed, both conditioned at like twenty. They were my helper engines to climb hills. Out at Nantahala. So. I can't even, most likely I can't even get the train 
worth of stuff that I need to get to Andrews. Um, like two Andrews. I mean, I'll have two Versailles, I guess, but I, I, there's a pretty healthy, healthy train that needs to go there. All so, right. but you can uh, think Jake was talking last night because he has three GP9s. Yeah, and you can do that, or three or four. I was if if the storms weren't gonna be a thing last night, probably what I was going to do. Where the heck are you? Those, those are way lighter and have a lot of horsepower. Yeah. Uh, this is. It's got that other old course loaded in here for some reason. But uh, if I was if it was gonna work out last night to play, what I was planning on doing was um, probably buying a couple GP nights. To, to run out fast. But yeah, it that is. Graham what. County does, it will hold the full 30. Oh, wow. Because uh, Jacob was talking, I guess, each line up there, because that has, I think, three. Graham oh, oh, yeah. I haven't, we haven't been there. I haven't been to Graham County. Okay. Yeah. So he was saying that each line can hold, I think, right. Uh, 10 cars. Oh wow. That's crazy. So I guess my, my in, in closing with the whole railroader conversation is um, the game to me that's a game glitch. Right? Or like it's a it's a it's a flaw in the game that breaks bleeding down. Okay. We had it I had it happen once from um, Andrews as well. Not Andrews from uh, oh what's the place Alarca where a train rolled out of Alarca you know it had been locked up but it had it rolled out of Alarca and derailed that's a game issue and uh, so the, basically what I'm getting at is the safety rating would have probably been zero you know if we were to and it's just it's just frustrating you know all the hours I've put in that game and then the stupid brakes can't you know Hold air. I just, I don't know. I need a break from that game. I'm going to be completely honest. I've been enjoying it. I, I like the game. It's a great game. I highly recommend it to everybody. I need a break from that game. And I don't say that often with video games, but I need a break from that one. So, not going to see it for a while, probably. Just want to throw that out there for everybody. Not going to see it. So. Yeah. Moving on to Captain of Industry starting Friday. Uh, big update for that comes out Friday. Uh, so that could be, should be fun. Um, I do have some plans with that. I do, I need to, I do need to figure that out logistically uh, to see how that, uh, how that all is going to work. Uh, Trent kind of knows. We're, we're, we're talking secret stuff kind of a little bit so we'll see if we can get it to work and logistically how it, how it works and looks and stuff so yeah uh what's going on what's popping welcome in can be like i said it's just i don't know you get frustrated and then, yeah You're gonna miss watching it. You know, I'm, yeah, and, 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 you know, I'm not saying I'm done with the game forever, but maybe once they fix the uh, brake bleeding issue, maybe I'll play it again, you know? You never know. Uh, the other thing I'll say is, uh, hey, if you're gonna leave engines uh, somewhere that's absolutely not 100% flat, you know, you might wanna hire them, put them on AI and put them against a few Z, because that works. They don't. They don't roll that way. You gonna like having those two helpers at Nantahala? What about them? Uh, oh, uh, with me and Jacob, I guess Bear and Waffle are up top too. Yeah. He was saying, I guess if you go straight and don't take any sightings going through there, 
because you know how at Nantahala you have that kind of hill straight out. Yeah. Which, yeah. With three GP9s and the amount of cars that he had, you can hit that 30 or 40. Oh, dang. That's but uh. He, he had a cut because he had 10 open cars along okay. with all the stuff that he had to bring back up to Andrews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had to cut the pulpwood off just because that alone is like, I think he had it's heavy. three or five thousand. Wow. And the pulpwood is like two thousand. That's crazy. That is crazy. You know, but I, but I, I guess what I, the uh, ultimately, the decision to not stream that game, at least for right now. I've always been very true to if I'm not having fun with a game, I'm not going to stream it. I don't care if Railroader themselves hits me up in the DMs and says, hey, you know, we want you to feature the game. We want to, we want to like pay you to play the game. I would say fix your game and then I'll play it, you know, fix the break issue and I'll play it. Like, I love that game. That game is so much fun. I played for hours. I played till four o'clock in the morning, Sunday, Sunday morning. And then guess what? About four o'clock in the morning is when I found those trains because I had no reason to go out there to look for those, those particular engines, right? About four o'clock in the morning is what I found that they were sitting out there all crashed and derailed and, and everything. And I was like, I'm done. I literally found that and I, I just saved the game and I quit and went to bed. So, and you know, it's not like I, I, uh, it's not like I was messing up because I was tired or anything like that. Like I said, it's just the brakes bleed and it sucks. So, Eddie Hoozles, that's 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 where I'm at with that game. Frustrated for sure, and uh, I'm just not gonna play it right now. I'm not saying ever, because I'm sure I'll play it again at some point. I'll fix that issue. To me, it doesn't. It's not that big of an issue per se, you know. Like I, I wouldn't think it would be a, a difficult issue to, to fix, you know. So, Dave, what's going on? Welcome in. What's happening? By the way, Dave, I'm sorry. I just saw you friended me on Steam. I just saw that today. I don't know when you friended me, but I just saw that today. Mostly because I opened Steam and it popped up, and I was like, oh, okay. Oh. oh man. So yeah, Captain of Industry, uh cup what am I doing right now, Chad? Jeez, a little little pirouette action. Uh Captain of Industry uh Friday. That's the plan. Um we're gonna be playing that because of the uh the update. So that's the plan, uh as far as I'm concerned for a captain. Um the old the old captain of in no yeah, the old captain of industry. It's a great game great game and uh look forward to it i'm looking forward to it for sure all right go go gadget over there go okay bye have a good time go on get but yeah so we're gonna be playing that hopefully friday and we're gonna hopefully be trying out some different things uh with stream as well we'll see Logistically, we'll see if we can get it all, all work and make it look good. That would be... The thing would be cool. It would be cool. Yeah. Alright, no problem there, Dave. No problem. Like I said, I opened Steam today because, uh, well, I had to restart. Well, I had to unplug my computers last night because of the storms. I opened that up today and I went, well, wait a minute, Bobby. Hold on. Oh uh, yeah. All right. Put that to copy. We want this to be the left combine. Go have fun. Yay! Bye. Okay. Bye. Oh, God. Uh, farm boy. I I could. What if I tell you I don't wanna? <laughs> I don't want 
I don't want to learn the ways of the forest. No, so I uh, I don't mind maps with that. It depends on the map as far as plowing fields together. Uh, because I don't have giant equipment, I feel like it's maybe a little bit better to not plow fields together. But at the same time, I know it's more efficient uh, to go ahead and plow fields together. But these fields have character. And we like character. That's why I haven't plowed them together. So. Yep, for doodles. You bet. Yuckers. It was probably not the independent because there were two trains hooked together. It was just two. It was two engines, Dave. It was it was two uh, Berkshires. And uh, I doubt, I doubt, I doubt, I doubt I would have put the independent. You know what I mean? For two, I, I bet you I just locked them up. Yeah, you know, like the train breaker, whatever you want to call it. I would assume, but I don't know. Don't know. Like I said, it's not the first time that that's that's you know kind of got us or got me anyway. I don't know. I mean, we were looking at yeah, like taking a break from that game anyway, so it's kind of six to one half to you know it's, it's whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I just realized I got to get out of the way to plow. Oh wait, this field's not getting plowed, right? No. No. You can park right here. This is fine. Go ahead and roll two trucks out there. Loud as well. And the weird thing is, they were at Antahala. They ended up way out east. I thought there were some hills there. But apparently not. They were way out east from where they should have been. Like they were they were pretty far. I don't exactly remember where they were at. I just I, I was seeing red at that point, so I was just kinda done, you know. Uh but yeah. I know they were just like they were way farther than they should have been out to the east. I just remember, I was like, that is weird. Uh, whatever. It is what it is. So actually, before I quit, I went around and I, I put every locomotive. Ever, pretty much every locomotive right now is set to AI. And they're all against, like, switches or fuses or something to just basically stop them. It could be. Yeah, I don't know. I was annoyed. That's all I can tell y'all. Very annoyed. Like, well, I'm just gonna go not play video games for a while. And actually, I didn't, like I said, I didn't play a single video game yesterday. Of course, the weather had a big part to do with that, too. So, yeah. Pops and I went on a little little adventure yesterday too, which I didn't think we were gonna do, but we, we ended up going on quite an adventure. Uh, Jeff and Obelis, what's going on? Welcome in, guys. How y'all doing today? Popping? Yeah. We went and bought some cattle panels yesterday. And I know that that might sound weird to some of you, because, well, I don't have any cattle. And we're not planning on getting any cattle, but we bought cattle panels yesterday. So. There's that. Uh, we bought two of them, man. We were we were big big shoppers at the at a TSC. We went to the tractor supply yesterday. We pulled up in there and we're like, we need two of your finest cattle panels, please. And they went, is that all? Two? Only two? Okay. And then the lady tried telling us they were going to be like $6,000 and that I had to pay for them. And I was like, wait a minute. 
wait a minute. He was obviously messing with us. It was kind of funny. That's all right. We're just going to, like, turn this around ourselves, I guess, because being course play being course play. Come on. I know you got to, like, fold and unfold and figure out your life over here, my buddy. There you go. Look at that beautiful bean straw he's putting in the grass. Gosh. That was an odd start to that gun. I've never seen Okay. Whatever. The real question is do we bail the bean straw or do we. Not. That's the real question of life right now. Oh, man. Obviously, I'm going to wait till the field's done before I actually bail. Because I'm not trying to run a bailer out here on course play with, uh, you know, combines that are on course play. That's just not a good idea. Let's be honest, right? So, I was telling Trent before stream, like, I have no idea how we didn't take water in the basement last night. There was like a two inch, two and a half inch deep river running across my backyard last night. Horse, it's horse, horse play, horse play. We can, uh, we had a horse, we got rid of him. He went to the, to the blue factories. Yeah. Not so lonely. Wow. Just battle out of the snow, oh boy. Oh, Belks, have a safe drive. Oh, yeah, I don't know how we didn't have... I don't know. Picking on the rain, you, you missed uh, left complaining. You what? You, you what? missed left. Oh, what was he complaining about? I just washed my truck. Oh, I heard him. He was griping about that Saturday. Oh. Uh, or no, 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 no. I was here Sunday night. He was griping about it then, yeah. I guess he washed it. Yeah, you can only wash it. I, I guess from his company or whatever, they pay for only so often. I, don't. I guess, but and then he had a load yesterday. Yeah. Or today. Yeah. I, I, I know, got Sunday. A load of money. Su Sunday night he was grumbling pretty. It was funny. Yeah. <laughs> then I, as soon as he left, like have have fun loading in the mud. <laughs> I grew up watching you. You know how to make somebody feel old, huh? I grew up watching you. Alright, listen here, Sonny. Um, <laughs> oh, man. I mean, great to see you. How's it going? I'm... I'm Appreciate you watching back in the day and growing, growing up with Puma Plow, huh? Man. Oh, gosh. You're 20. You could legitimately be my child. Yeah. You're not. I don't have any kids, but you could be. All right, so uh, chat. Uh, I actually do have my forever home already. It's it's right up there. Um, it's a nice cemetery. I already got the plot picked out. It's paid for. Um, it, not even joking. It's there. Had it for almost five years now. Uh, no, I know I don't have any children. Thank you. Yeah, you'd have to talk to a girl for that to happen, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. Stop. You're making me feel old. What's up, Nick? How's it going, bro? Papa. How many years? Uh, September will be 10 years. September will be 10 years. Now, if you're asking how many more years after that I'm going to stream, I don't know. I don't know. 
by then, old folks' homes will have good Wi-Fi, right? Like, <laughs> uh, the old folks' home will have a place for my, my gaming setup, right? Probably by then, yeah. Dude. Uh, yeah, I think you can definitely tell where the uh, storm is based off storm chasers. Oh, well, that's where they think it's going to be, yeah. How Tony and Carson feel? I don't. I did, I did hang out with Tony on Sunday, so. Barbernet got union testing done. Okay. All right. You think I need to finish up? Like, you think I need to stop streaming? After 10 years, just hang it up? I like what I do most of the time. <laughs> it has its days. You know? And it's it's not even like this. Yeah. Nah, it's good. I enjoy what I do. I like it a lot. I wouldn't trade it for anything, to be honest. I... I for the most part, I look forward to being here every every time I stream. Last yesterday, I told Dad yesterday afternoon, I was like, I kind of hope it storms tonight. And then, sure enough, it stormed. So it was, uh, oh man, I can't stream because of the storms. But really, I was like, I don't really want to stream tonight, you know. So yeah. So I didn't have to get like you know PTO approved because like my computer was unplugged. Yeah. Grab a beer on the porch and watch the sunset. I mean, okay, my porch is really small in my house. I don't know if that's gonna work out too well, but you know, I, I get the the gesture there, you know. Yeah. Go to the farm and watch a watch the sunset from down there. Although then the mosquitoes will dang your picky up and carry you away. So that's not the best idea. Although they're not bad yet. So still have a little bit, a little bit of time. Just a little bit. Why is that? Okay. All right. But yeah, so when it comes to like streaming and stuff, yeah, I am kind of the old man of the internet. I've been around a long time. <laughs> I mean, most of the uh, streamers that were like any kind of size when I started, uh, especially in like the farm sim world, uh, just aren't even streaming anymore. You know, like they're just not around. And I get it, you know, life happens and stuff, you know. So, yeah. I don't look old. That might be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me, Daniel. Thank you. You should see it when I shave. <laughs> when I shave, I'm pretty sure I can't buy alcohol at a store. I've not tried, but I'm pretty sure I can't I can't buy alcohol if I shave. So we'll just go with them. Why? I, I gotta figure out my green screen. Y'all can see through my shirt over here and I it bothers me greatly. Just saying. Or lighting issues. Always lighting issues, I feel like, with the green screen. But yeah. Adam, what's going, man? How you doing? What's poppin'? I should have my water wings on after all that rain last night. Holy cow, man. That first storm we had last night, it rained so hard that uh i couldn't see like four houses up my street like four houses away i couldn't see it was pouring we did have some pea-sized hail as well um actually a very interesting one that happened in uh, chesterfield missouri yesterday the national weather service reported uh golf ball size hail but at the current time they weren't even like in the storm it was way out in front of the storm they were getting golf ball size hail. It was kind of interesting. But yeah. Alan. I don't know who that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, Alan. Wow. Well, uh, if you're interested in joining, come into our team so we can get to know us off stream. We don't let people in right from uh, Twitch. And we don't do crossplay. Um, the one big one at the time when we when we first started streaming was uh, uh, Grateful. He was he was huge on Twitch at the time. I mean, for like a farm simmer, there, there weren't really any like big channels to be honest. Grateful was uh, one of the bigger ones uh, back in the day. And even actually, like even just like on YouTube, the guys I first watched that kind of, I guess you say, inspired me to get into the whole thing. I don't think any of them make content anymore. Which you know, it's been eleven or twelve years ago, so I don't blame them for moving on. You know, life happens and things change, and yeah, it is what it is. And I'm still sitting here playing Farpsoft, and I don't mind it. I love it. I'm saying, I'm here for it. Maybe not so much for the train game right now, but I'm here for it otherwise. <laughs> oh, man. This game does have insane history, yeah. Yep. Yeah. You betcha. You betcha. Yeah, a lot of people, um, Tiger Cat, what's going on? Uh, a lot of people, like, stop making content because of trolls, honestly. And, and I had a situation, I've been through it with, like, a stalker, basically. Probably, I don't know if they still watch or not. I hope not, but it was it was kind of like a, like a stalker situation for a while. First farm sim I played was like farm sim uh, 09, I think, on PC. Yeah, I think it was 09. Not much, just you know, farming, farming. I clicked on a so normally I run a Starbase live stream by the way on this like top left monitor just to have something up here. And today I clicked on a random one. It's up in Michigan. And it's just like ships going by in the water. And I don't know, it's like the most peaceful thing I've ever seen. I'm just saying, it's been a long time. It has been a while, bro. It has, yeah. But yeah, it's like really, really peaceful watching these big ships go by. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Lager Brett, what's going on, man? How you doing? What's poppin'? Welcome in. Trying to get back into it. No, no, it doesn't feel the same. Well, I mean, a lot has changed with Farm Sim. I mean, at the core, yeah, it's a game about farming. But uh, a lot has changed, you know? A lot has changed. Stalkers have come and gone. You know, it's it's a whole thing. Oh man! Now mine wasn't as bad as uh, a lot of some people deal with, like stalkers and stuff. Mine wasn't like in person per se. You know, annoying on the internet. That's all. Wasn't as bad as it could have been. But yeah. At least, at least I'm glad it's like over, you know, person finally, I guess, decided to leave me alone. I don't know. Could talk about it. They'll probably show back up. It's like Beetlejuice, right? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that person can kick rocks as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they sue the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? What's happening? You played, you played 22, not, well, hey, you've grown up. Things are, you probably have like more, uh, responsibilities in your life than you did when you were 12, right? Is farming sim, why would somebody stalk? Uh, 
I don't really know. I think they were jealous. And there was nothing to be jealous about is the best part. <laughs> Which, by the way, that's a really weird thing to go through. When somebody's jealous of you for, like, no reason. Like, I, I'm i not. I'm just a regular guy, man. I put my pants on one leg at a time just like you guys do, you know? Like, I'm just a regular guy. There's nothing to be jealous about. It was kind of weird. But yeah, I'm just I'm just a dude who plays farm sim and I guess talk to people from around the world, man. I play other games too. Captain of Industry starting Friday, by the way. Captain of Industry, you're gonna fire it up Friday for the first time in a while. You know, we play some ATS. We play. Oh, well, we used to play Railroader. <laughs> done for done with that one for a while. But yeah, just the dude that gets to hang out and play video games, you know? Yeah, we vibing, we chilling. Yeah, I'm not I'm not Jinxy or whatever the heck his name is. <laughs> just saying. Oh man. Uh thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? What's poppin'? I put my pants on one leg at a time. Uh, wait, how do you put on both at the same time? You like hang your pants between two trees and get a, like a trampoline? <laughs> and just hope you didn't put them too far off the ground? Ah, uh, this is Alma, Missouri. Alma, Missouri. Why is this guy stopped? Oh, this is the right combine. Why is he? How did he? Bro, you gotta let that guy go first, dog. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> the left combine's supposed to be first. Go. Why are we leaving the chat? Come on. Horse play. Of course, but you're not. That's not where you're supposed to be going right now, buddy. Buddy. That's not where you're supposed to be going. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. Give you Welker Farms of 69 Tang. Have you uh, checked out any of Stevie's maps? Stevie makes awesome maps. Uh, my lands, well, that's, a, that's a very plain map. If you like plain maps, my lands are uh, uh, flat out 4X, I think it's called. Is basically my lands, but actually made into the rest of the map. Yeah, flat out 4X, I believe, is the name of the, his, his last one. Stevie makes some great maps. Exclamation point Stevie in the chat if you're uh, curious. Highly recommend you check them out. I ain't getting paid or nothing to say it. I'll just say it, you know. Oh, chat, I saw something yesterday. Man. Stop it! Barrow 313 cheered Dex 100. Take that black cat and damn. Who's got scoreboard now? <laughs> Yo, uh, that's funny. Uh, Bear, thanks for the uh, thanks for the bits here. Hang on, I got you, uh, 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 Bear. Hang on, where's it at? Here, here. This is Leonard's special uh, scoreboard emote that only like two or three people have access to. <laughs> oh man, appreciate the bits. Thanks, Bear. How's it going? So chat yesterday, Pops and I on our on our little adventure we were on, we were on a two lane road, one lane in each direction, right? As most two lane roads have. But there was also like a little bit of a shoulder on each side. Okay, run at Kenworth Road Train. Okay. I do have a set of super bees over there. I don't use those out of the field though. I use those to haul like from from the, you know, in to sell Eddie Hoozles. Uh, we're on a two lane farm road, one lane each direction, double yellow line in the center, 
and uh, about a third of a lane of a shoulder on each side, okay? Past the white line, right? Just hear me out, chat, real fast, okay? And there's a bit of a curve and a hill, and we're going one direction, and on the other side coming at us is a mail truck parked at a mailbox delivering mail, okay? Also coming at us behind them going like 50 miles an hour, 55 miles an hour, is two trucks from a tree company, two semi trucks, all in like uh, um, wood chips and stuff, right? Okay. The first one is like, oh, probably halfway into our lane coming at us, right? So dad like gets over big time and we, we missed the first one. The second one, I guess he panicked and he locked up his trailer brakes. And I'm like, man, the mail, the mail person almost died right there, you know? Like, can you imagine being in a little mail truck and, like, uh, getting plowed by a semi-truck? Because it almost happened yesterday. And we were almost witnesses to it. It was wild, dude. There was smoke everywhere and tires squealing. And it was crazy. 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 Alberta Cattle Ranch. That would be uh, interesting. I don't know about any... Uh, maps that have that though that would be cool yeah that would be cool you met a couple on vacation that moved to my town bear interesting did you ask him how the wi-fi is uh, uh down, at, down at the arch uh cmb <laughs> no cbm what's going on i still get your name wrong god how's it going Not supposed to drive a 50 better. Wow. That's a lot of equipment rolling down the road at one time. But anyway, it was just like super sketchy to see uh, what we saw yesterday with the. It's like this is how people die right here, you know? Like, this is wild. It was wild, though. It was wild. Wild. Oh. Twelve Red Bulls and vodkas. That's a lot of. Okay. I did make it out of the storms last night. Yep, they they were kind of bad, but kind of not all at the same time here. A lot of lightning though last night. Yeah. Bad it was. Yeah. Farmers have the right of way. Uh, you know. I don't know actually who has the right of way when it comes to that. No, never again. Wow. So, Bear, actually, they moved to my town, like, to my town. Because you know my town, Bear. I assume. That's wild. Should ask him if they like pumpkins. <laughs> yeah, I know this guy that has a pumpkin patch. <laughs> That's not the most awkward conversation ever, right? Uh, so my internet friend lives there. <laughs> That's crazy, Bear. Oh, man. South in Oklahoma. All right. It does sound like uh, yesterday, and I don't I don't live in this area around St. Louis, but kind of around Chesterfield-ish area, there was a uh, reports of a tornado on the ground, so... I haven't heard much damage. I did see some like roofs and stuff were damaged. Uh, I saw that on Instagram today. I wasn't exactly sure what area around St. Louis that was from, but yeah. And then it sounds like the Springfield, Missouri area got hit pretty good uh, last night as well. What is blocked by an object? These things are plowing so bad. Which tractor is it actually? It's, it's that. Versatile, I think, is plowing very poorly. I am not heard about that. No. Kiyoshi Namajiri just subscribed. What? Uh, thanks for the brand new subscription. Welcome, welcome in. How's it going? Brian needs a tissue after that. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try on that one, but I do appreciate the, the brand new sub. How's it going? Oh, what the Hannah Montana, bro? Where are you going? What is wrong with course play today? Buddy is literally plowing the world. These are leaving. Why are these? Is it the Arctic? You know what? We're starting over. I'm starting over with the plowing. I'm doing it. I think it's the articulated tractors. They're leaving. Normally, these plows on course play don't leave skippers and stuff, so. I think it's at the end of the field. Right? Mr. Yadikis, what's going on, man? How you doing today? Four tornadoes. Dang. That's not good, man. I'm sorry to hear about the four tornadoes. That's crazy. Bro. Wow. Right, Z Twitcher, what's going on, man? Time to upgrade to the 1050. I we don't have any of those. Wish we did. Oh dang, Mr. Edicus. I'm glad she's uh, able to come home. That's good. Hopefully it's good things and not, you know, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. You can share how much you have, however much you want to share, but obviously you don't have to. But uh, hopefully things get better for you. Hopefully. All right, we're gonna just use regular tractor style tractors, you know, and not uh, non articulated tractors, apparently. supposed to get more storms tonight yeah it's a it's a it's a wild one out there man um it really is i'm just glad at least here in the st louis area we seem to be uh seem to be pretty much done with it so all right what other traditional tractors do we even have i know we gotta have it we gotta have there's one one tractor that one's broken there we go i the other alice dude the alice summer tractors they they get the world or get the job done you know they get the jobs done still all right let's grab this Barely get rid of it. I'm about to just redo all that. It's fine. Not a big deal. These these things shouldn't leave uh, nearly as much as they are leaving this time. Southern Indiana. Indiana had a bunch of storms yesterday. A day. When was that? I don't, uh, I don't remember there being warnings that way, but I could be wrong. Oh, so, okay. Okay, gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. So now it's sleeping. It's mowing Okay. I gotcha. Say so last night it was mostly uh Oklahoma kept popping tornado warnings last night. It was weird. They would like spin up and two seconds later they'd be gone kind of thing. It's kinda wild. 
The crazy thing was last night I was watching Ryan Hall on YouTube. And he works with that meteorologist, Andy Hill. And uh, Andy would pop on the stream and say, hey, I think there's about to be a tornado warning, uh, you know, near St. Louis. And within like three minutes, the tornado warning would get issued. And he did this multiple, multiple times last night. Whatever Andy would pop in and say, hey, there's about to be um, a warning. Every single time there, it would, it would happen. Yeah. Gotcha, Mr. Eutychus. Okay. Well, I'm glad she's doing better and getting out of the hospital. Just, dude, getting out of the hospital alone is just... This is on the wrong track, by the way. Uh, getting out of the hospital is just such a mental helper, you know? I know with, with my mom back when she was going through stuff, like, whenever she got to come home, it was just... Helped her mentally so much. So much just to get out of that out of that environment, you know. And then, you know, my house became a hospital. <laughs> uh we had we had we had a full hospital where the stuff in our house there for a while. But yeah. Come on. I know I got combines need to be unloaded. He got you. Interesting. All right. Is that come by done? Oh, we are done, aren't we? All right. All right. Very nice. And this one pulled over like eight. Okay. That's weird. Normally they only do that if they're the lead combine, but okay. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll get, uh, we'll probably have to get that 8,000 out here with a baler. We don't have anything else to bail with. Or all of our, we need a couple more tractors, honestly. And that's, that's kind of a weird thing for me to even say, but we could use a couple more tractors. Usually we end up with too many tractors, but we could actually use a couple on this map right now. Or, you know, just like a big plow instead of like 18 little ones. But, you know, I kind of, I'm kind of weird. Kind of weird. Ha. <laughs> that might be an understatement, huh? Come on. All right. Fill this up. We need to send these trucks around, too. I was waiting to have somewhere to park them. Uh, the field nine point is where we want to. Uh, stash them. Uh, ba -ba 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 nine. There we okay, yeah. Alright, that'll work. And really, we only need to send one truck, because... We're not gonna get that many beans off the whole thing, right? Just like... Is somebody in my family a farmer? Um... I'm a farmer on the internet. Um, <laughs> so my dad grew up on a farm and you hear me talk about all the time, uh, the farm. And, uh, in fact, here, hang on. I posted a picture the other day. Hang on. Uh, where's that here? This. So like this, this picture was taken at my farm. Um, this is my tractor. Um, anyway, so this is kind of the area I go all the time. I go down to the farm all the time. We go hang out down here, pops and I, and, uh, so he owns, dad owns five acres of the farm that he grew up on, uh, which is pretty cool. Cause here soon dad's turning 75 and you know, it's kind of cool to own the part or the part of the land that you, you, uh, you know, grew up on and like, he, you know. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool. So we go down there all the time. We were down there yesterday. We'll be down there tomorrow, like all day, I assume. I don't know. And uh, 
so dad grew up a farmer. Uh, my grandpa was a farmer. My great grandpa was a farmer, and so on and so on back through the family. On on dad's side, everybody was farmers. Uh, my mom's side, not so much. There's no well. You got to go back a ways, but yeah, there were farmers back then too. So I like to say that it's like diarrhea. It's it runs in my genes, you know, farming. So. Um, that's what I like to say. That's an awkward time to say that too, huh? Fast thanks to the raid, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome in. But yeah, so that's what I like to say. You know, it kind of runs in the... It runs in the genes there a little bit, you know? So. Uh, and then my dad's cousin still, uh, still farms. Uh, he's pushing 80 uh and he actually farms the farm that my grandpa was born on is what my uh, dad's cousin still farms to this day so that's kind of cool you know we get to we pass it all the time going to the farm oh so, yeah lots of farmers in the family from back in the day yep But yeah, I guess they have, they have a cousin's probably uh, the only one still farming. I mean, if you go, like, far enough out in the family, yeah, there's other people that's, that still farm. But you're talking, like, cousins way on, like, my grandma's side of the family. I guess they farm. I don't know. What do we do on the farm? Uh, so that little tractor, we work on that. <laughs> um... The big thing that we do is we, uh, we, we, so like I said, we have five acres, about an acre or so, uh, we, uh, we grow pumpkins every year on about an acre and we move around where we grow them, but plows, poofus. Actually, the other day, Mr. Judy, yes, we did plow. Oh, Tony. Well, yeah. Well, Dad did some plows. I never, I never got on the tractor. Yeah, but I, I, I filmed it. I had, dude. I, I filmed it. Okay, not as much as I wanted to, but I was having some camera issues, and uh, still don't have that figured out. So, Tony's still wearing that same uh, t-shirt. <laughs> he was wearing the same t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we just with Dad and I messed around. I mean, we we got to keep up with the grass. We have about an acre and a half or two acres of grass, and or whatever. I don't know. But the big thing is uh, pumpkins. We grow pumpkins. Bam. We'll catch you later, son. Have a good one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I was Larry was going on with Heather was Babbitt, how you doing? Oh man. No, we don't have any animals. So the farm's in a floodplain and Um, you know, if you have animals then in a kind of flood you gotta go somewhere with the animals, right? Now back in the day when grandma and grandpa were on the farm, there was you know, they had cows and pigs and chickens and ducks. Uh, grandpa had a horse for a while back in the day, uh, dogs, cats, all that stuff, yeah. Farming's going. We're doing it. I'm doing it. Harvesting some beans right now. So yeah, back in the day there were animals on the farm, but it's been, uh, it's been a while since there's been animals. What do we do with all those pumpkins? All those pumpkins in our field. What, what, what? Um, what do we do with the pumpkins? Uh, we have a party once a year that we call Pumpkin Day. And it is an invite only uh, pumpkin picking party, basically. So we basically invite a bunch of friends and family and friends of friends and friends of family and all that kind of stuff. We invite them to the farm and basically say, hey, bring uh, bring a dish for like a casserole lunch and uh, come pick all the pumpkins you want. 
So we basically grow the pumpkins to, to have a party and we give them all away. So, yeah, that's what we do with them. We've been doing that for uh, 25 plus years now. Uh, we're not actually exactly sure how many years, but it's got to be at least 25. Based on, like, my nephews were really young when we started that, and they're not really young anymore. Like, they're one's married and, like, and stuff, so. Yeah, they're not, they're not, they're not little ones running around anymore, but, uh, yeah, so that's what we do with the pumpkins. We just give them all away. That's what we do. Which I know is crazy to some people, by the way. They're like, you guys take all that time to do that and give them away? It's like, yeah. What do you want me to do with all those pumpkins? <laughs> I mean, I guess we could sell them and make money. But I don't know. I do ha kind of have admissions of someday turning the farm into like a for-profit pumpkin patch, you know? Maybe not do the party where we like give them all away kind of thing. Um, but everybody still enjoys throwing the party and stuff. So I, if, if I was going to do it, it wouldn't be for a while. So yeah, because we're, we're out of town like a little bit where the farm sits, but like we're not far enough out of the town that I don't think people, you know, I, I think people would still show up. And especially if you get on, like, you know, the TikToks and Facebooks and, like, really hit up social media marketing and and stuff like that. I feel like that's how that kind of that pumpkin patch business could, uh, could be a viable thing down there, honestly. But, yeah. Oh, that guy's stuck on that bridge over there, isn't he? I was wondering where that truck's at because uh, he should have been back forever ago. But... This bridge likes to uh, kind of grab these auto drive guys just a smidge. That's okay. Uh, we're out of tractors now, right? Besides this one. Oh, I forgot about the bales, chat. We have so many bales to clean up later. We're literally... I guess I do have feed tractors I could use. I don't like that idea, though. For some reason. I don't tell left, but I kind of want to buy like a, like a 6R right now. I'll tell left, though. <laughs> Whatever you guys do, don't tell lefty. Alright. Oh, man. Yeah, so that's what we do at the farm a lot. And then, like, uh, Sunday we had our buddy uh, Zach come down, or Tony. And uh, he came down, and we, we have an old uh, Alice Chalmers plow for that little Alice Chalmers bee that I showed you guys a few minutes ago. And uh, we plowed, plowed a bunch of where the pumpkins will be next year. Nothing good in the sale. I mean, a 4755 is actually not. I already have one, though. Um, but, uh, yeah, we plowed a bunch where the pumpkins are going to be for next year. And uh, we're trying to get the plow dialed in so that maybe this summer we can take it to a plow day. We'll see. We're still not sure if we're, if we're going to do that or not. So, yeah. But it's not until August. We got some time to get the plow dialed in, and we got time to decide uh, if we're gonna if we're gonna go to the plow day or not. I mean, we're gonna go if we take the tractor or not. Yeah. you want to take a road trip to Alma? Well, I don't think you'll need more than like 10 minutes in Alma. It's not a big town. Uh, personally, I've never been there, but I'm actually probably going there this summer myself. I have a family reunion up uh, just north of Alma. Or no. No. We're going to be just south of Alma. Uh, 
just south of Highway 70, but basically right in the same area uh, as Alma. And uh, if I can convince the people I'll be with to like detour a little bit, then uh, I'd like to detour through Alma just to see it myself. Yeah. I've been I've been really close to Alma uh, before, but I didn't. You know, this was years years and years and years ago. So. I would have had no reason to stop in Alma or to even drive through Alma, you know. But love this map. It's a great map. And if you've uh, if you've never done it, look up Alma, Missouri on Google. And uh, it's crazy how similar this map looks to that. It's literally insane. So yeah, thanks for the uh, follow. Appreciate you. You're always transport van has GPS. Gotcha. 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 Okay. Yeah. So if you're, uh, let's see. I don't mention, we, we don't mention the one town that we have family from, but I've been to like Chillicothe, Missouri, which is a little farther north. Um, and then there's a small town where my grandma's family was from. Grandma and her family. They were all from a small town over there in Missouri on that side of the state. I'm over here near uh, St. Louis. That's where I'm at. It's still kind of insane to me that somehow my grandma from like northwest Missouri he just ran there yesterday. Nice. Nice, nice. But somehow Oh, you're from the St. Louis area? Or live in the St. Louis area? Nice. Somehow my grandma from northwest Missouri happened to have a cousin down here near St. Louis and she came down one summer to visit her cousin and and somehow we're not really sure but somehow met my grandpa and that then they like they gave him a couple and stuff which is crazy to me it's like back in those days where transportation was kind of tough and you know um, we're talking a lot of years ago let's put it that way right and uh it's kind of wild. I don't know. Weird how stuff works out sometimes, you know? Very, very weird how stuff works out sometimes. Oh, you're in South City? Man. You ever go to Gus's Pretzels? Oh, man. If you've never been to Gus's, you have to go. All right, come on. All right. Right, all right. You've had Gus, it's nice. So Gus is, is pretty much the only reason I go to the city. So I live, I live outside the city. I'm not gonna tell you what direction, but uh, I live outside the city and Gus is, is pretty much the only reason for me to go downtown. You don't see the big hubbub? Oh my goodness. Grab Gunner, what's going on? How are you? I love it. I love me some Gus's bro. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, soybeans are going. I need to find another tractor, chat. Do we dare put a baler on an articulated tractor? Probably not, right? That tractor can't bail. These tractors are dumb. <laughs> oh gosh, where are we trying to go, buddy? You're on your outside pass still, aren't you? Okay, he's done with his outside, I think. Where's he still? Wait, hang on. Where's his last 
500 in, huh? I think the problem is that tractor's trying to go back and forth and this one's still trying to go around and around. Because I didn't start at the same time because I had to... I tried the articulated tractors and it didn't work. Maybe you should drop the plow and get that little spot there, would you? Would appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Thanks, thanks. Oh, it was so close. He was so close to getting that spot, but no, didn't do it. But if you would have kept driving, you wouldn't, we wouldn't have this issue. Fine. Okay. Seriously though, we're we're out of tractors, right? I can't use the grain cart tractor because I have um I have more beans to harvest. And we're kinda we're let's see. I'm to six for now. Go. Go. You're not going to make the bridge anyway, so why do I even start you on auto drive, huh? And I guess I need to redo this whole exit here. Although I did redo it once, and I guess it still doesn't work. I don't know. It's fine. We'll just do this manually. Not a big deal. So, 47.55 on sale, right, chat? Should I... I could totally, I mean, that's cheap. I need another uh, bail in tractor right now. Is what I, uh, what I really need right now. $83,000. We have money, whatever. We have the money. But yeah, need another uh, bail tractor. Problem is I gotta load the course off the combine before I can move the combine to the next field to keep harvesting. So that I have that same course so that I actually get all that straw. I mean and obviously I could run a bailer manually, but I'm trying to like trying to get like 18 things done at once and uh you know. You know how that goes sometimes. Sometimes good, sometimes well, you know. Maybe not so good. That's all right. All right, so we'll go grab the other bailer with this 4755. We'll get the job done, or get the job going anyway. Right. So speaking of the plow uh, chats, uh, Sunday we did we did uh, we did do some plowing, and I I did have cameras rolling. Uh, now I haven't seen any of the footage yet, so we'll see. But uh, hopefully here one of these days I uh, I'll I'll have some time to edit something together. So that could be fun. So, 22 has seasons in it. Um, if you have your seasons on, then yes, it's going to take longer to grow. If you don't, ha if, if you have your seasons on, you have this window here. So you, the green is when you can plant, the orange is when you can harvest. Uh, so some of these crops, like say canola, does take forever uh, before you can you can go at it again. Um, we play on a one day month, so basically 12 days in game. That's a year for us um, So like October we're kind of stuck here for a long time Now I believe with crops or with seasons off I believe like the, the difference is you can just plant and harvest 
whenever, and I guess it takes less. I don't know actually how much time it takes to mature crops. We always play the seasons fun. Turn seasons off is. I think that's just a 22 thing. It just takes longer, yeah. I don't know if anybody else plays the seasons off. They could chime in, but. Uh, yeah. I always play with our season. We always play seasons on, so I don't. Uh, I don't know. Fortunately for you there. God, look at the skippers. Terrible. Simply terrible. But I do, I do remember here and like back when 2022 first came out, a lot of people were having issues with crops taking forever to mature. Yes. But we gotta, we gotta harvest our new field yet today. By the way, 31, 32. We'll get over there eventually. So I get this Baylor situation straightened out. And get over in that other field with the Baylor. Then we can move. Move all three, uh, all three combines probably to that new field. I think there's an option for fast crop growth. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Play the season off. Does it take longer to grow crops? Uh, does it take longer? I don't know. How long have I had this world? Uh, this world's been around for a couple million years. Oh, not like that. Uh, we've been playing Alma for a while. Yeah. Uh, probably like 260 hours or something is what, what we got on here so far. Something like that. So, been on here for a while, yeah. Uh, so, you know, every time we play a map, you tend, we tr I tend to at least try to play a little bit different right so with this map we decided on some parameters uh for how to play number one was not taking any loan at all uh number two is we're playing on hard uh economic difficulty which we normally don't do and number three we're trying to stay above five hundred thousand dollars as much as possible that one we have unfortunately um we have broken that one a few times, but only a couple times. So the the economic difficulty that's the uh, that's the real interesting one, you know, that and the, the not taking a loan. So all of this equipment that you see sitting around, it's all all ours plus the million dollars up there. Uh, I kind of don't know what I'm going for next. Probably land. But at the same time, probably combines. Probably two, like, big boy combines. Although, personally, I don't mind this, like, older stuff. I know this one's not, like, old, old, but I don't mind it. But it would be nice to have, like, you know, some bigger headers and big boy combines for once. Plus, uh, go to two instead of three, at least at first. So, yeah. Found it. What? I said I'm back. Welcome back. Controversial the, uh, take. Guy. Oh, yeah. First time someone's sick right now, by the way, chat. First Don't time. Come to team speak. <laughs> Well, I don't think that's controversial to say you hate being sick, for the record. That's not much of a hot take, unless you have a fever. I don't know. Then it might be a hot take. <laughs> oh, man. Apparently that spreads like wildfire here. Yeah, I'm probably going to get sick. I didn't know he was sick yesterday. and I was within the same, you know, airspace of him in our house and I was like uh if I would have known I would have run away sooner yay yeah yeah all right let's run all three combines over there why not we're gonna get a field done let's get a field done you know what I'm saying chat
Oh, God, first time. I don't know. A lot. A lot. That's what Google is for, first time. <laughs> yeah, Google that. Oh, man. Come on, John. You're supposed to know that answer off the top of your head, apparently. Sorry. Uh, 42 gallons per hectare. Because that makes sense. Come on. All right, this is going to be a show here. Three combines. Three combines, no waiting. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, gross. First. <laughs> Go get some music snacks out of the kitchen or something. I don't know. God, that's disgusting. So, chat, uh, if I miss streams later this week, uh, it's because Patient Zero over there, also known as First Time, got me sick, okay? Maybe, maybe Kimmy got left sick and left got First Time sick. And now I'm going to get sick. That's, that seems legit, right? Yeah, seems legit to me. Don't question it, chat. Didn't know that, but I, I also didn't need to know that. What? Oh, about the but mucus? First, yeah, I don't, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't need to know that either. That's freaking I, disgusting. I mean, I, I guess that's good news, but I didn't need to know that in the first place. I don't know about you, but I kind of feel like vomiting right now. <laughs> I haven't had to eat Oh, guess what I had for breakfast there, Trent? Not Casey's pizza? I did have Casey's pizza for breakfast. <laughs> I finished. I had, uh, I think, about half of the pizza. Where? But I, I finished off the breakfast pizza last night watching the, uh, the women's, like, yeah. Elite Eight. The, uh, the adventure pops that I went on yesterday took us to... Not one, but two different Casey's. So, I'm pretty sure I got scammed at the first one, but I didn't say nothing. I just smiled and left. Cause we we went to a town, actually the town that Tony works in, and we wanted to grab some slices to like have lunch, right? Yeah. So I run in, I grab four slices of pizza, two for Pops, two for me, and a box of their or like a container of their. Um, like rice crispy with the, with the chocolate on top. Okay. And the, the slices had a sign on them two for five. Because at first I was only going to get three pieces of pizza because I wasn't that hungry. And I was like, I'll just get one and then Pop's going to have two. And uh, oh, we have combined in the trees. So it was $20. Yeah. But if they're two for five, that's $10, right? And I'm like, how are these cookies ten dollars? You know, are these? Why do you want to drive into the crop, buddy, or into the into the into the rhubarb? Anyway, so I think I got scammed, and I just I just walked out. I was like, whatever, I'm not worried about it. But I think Casey scammed me. Hashtag. They probably just left the sign up from when it was. Oh, you're saying like the pizza? What maybe wasn't on sale? Yeah. That could be. I didn't get a receipt, so I don't know. But yeah, I was like, that's just kind of weird. That was 20 bucks. And then on the way home, uh, we wanted to go to a different Casey's because there's only certain Casey's that have the ethanol-free premium gasoline. And that's what we run in, like, all of our old tractors and stuff, right? And we're like, well, we're out this way. We don't get out this way that often. We're like, well, let's just go swing by that other Casey's and we'll grab some of that gas. Because we had a gas can with us. And so then I ordered pizzas to like bring home from there. So not only did I have slices yesterday, but I also had like brought pizza home. And I did, 
I did get cheesy bread, Trent, and it just, I don't know, it didn't hit this time. You got Starbase soap? No. I don't. Oh, they, yeah, apparently, uh, leftover of, like, the the first legendary booster that okay. didn't survive port entry. Oh, yeah? It's, uh, there at Florida, underneath the, uh, black scent. Huh. Interesting. But, uh... I've kept it. Oh, yeah. It was kind of a thing. So, yeah. So, yeah, basically, long story short, I think I got scammed by Casey's yesterday. I don't have any proof, but... And then the weird thing was, at first, it was, like, 18-something, right? And then the register changed to 21-something, and then it changed again back to 19-something. And I was like, what the heck's going on? And the lady's like, I don't know. Oh, did I do my corners wrong? I did my corners wrong, chat. Oh, uh, we can't do round corners, no. No, we can't have rounds. It's not okay. Oh, uh, well, whatever, it's already going. We'll have, we'll just have to clean them up later. Or we don't worry about them, it's fine. Either way, it'll buff. It'll buff. It's actually a lot faster to have around corners, so. That's uh, okay. Oh yeah. So now we're the proud owners of two hog, uh, of, of cattle panels, two cattle panels. And we're going to make an archway this year out of the cattle panels for our gourds to grow on. So we're hoping that looks kind of cool. But we'll see. All right, I got to let these two, let this first combine fill up so that uh, third combine can catch up. At least that's the hope. That is the hope. Yeah. But I'm hoping that archway of uh, for the gourds, that's going to look really cool. It's going to be really a really neat thing. Lots of photos probably taken with all the gourds for the, uh, for the pumpkin party next year or this year. However you want to look at it. What? Oh, this dude's done already, huh? He failed half the... Okay. So, for the record, uh, when you have two cop mines like this, you know, you, you set them to basically bail left first, and then you gotta tell them to bail right now. So, he bails the field twice. Uh, this is how you get this done. You get it all. Or you could rake it, but... That's okay. I don't feel like raking it. So, we'll just do it this way. Not a big deal. Like I said, I want that first uh, combine to fill up, so I'm not... I'm purposely not emptying him right now. We'll get to him eventually. Once this third guy catches up a little bit, that is... Actually, I need to fix auto driver on this field because there's like, yeah, I never, I haven't gotten around to it yet. So I have to get that fixed at some point. So we plowed these two together left, left actually plowed these two together. Yeah. My little combine. Maybe I should just sell the little combines. That'll force me to buy bigger ones. Kind of like the tether situation last week. Like, well, if we sell our tether, we'll have to buy another one. Like, that's all there is to it. You have to. If you sell it, you have to buy one. Considering we're making hay every, uh, well, a couple times a year on the farm here, so. I know. I know what it takes to make uh, hay after all. 
Oh, an empty outlet, okay. Right. Drive all that. 